Hello, hello, and welcome in. I'm your Gibbs. We are going to be playing Red Rum. This is number one. This one's called Dead Diary, and we are live with all the beautiful people watching on YouTube and on Twitch. Let's go ahead and get into this. This is an oldie, but a goodie. This one came out in 2009, and it's old kind of hidden object game, so... I am not going to put a timer on us, because that's just not fair. I don't think that's a good idea. Because <laughs> we're going to be pecking. We're going to be looking for things, so... Oh, this is nice. This is quite lovely. What a contrast to what we just saw. She's Look at her and her, like, wings and the flowers. I guess we should probably not disturb here, right? Oh, that's terrifying. Wait, why does she have bloody handprints on her th dress? Right. To die, to sleep. To sleep, perchance to dream. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come? And what if you awoke? But the nightmares remain. They might say you're crazy. You need a doctor. You need a shot. Why, what's with the, the bumblebees or the wasps? Well, who's this guy? Oh my god, what is going on? Just ignore the jam in her apron? Absolutely. Now your dreams are a sanctuary. And your reality is a waking hell. An illusion. Okay, well, let's get the uh, scene set here real quick. <laughs> my, my. My, my. Thank you so much for the follow over on Twitch. No worries, you enjoy yourself over there. So let's see here. We've got from the desk of Simon Fraud. Patient Rose, a tormented young girl, claims to converse with ghosts. Parents divorce. Arguing, desperate, father wealthy, perfect scenario to charge my highest bills. So easy. But what shall be my maximum profit strategy? Let us begin with a physical ailment, a virus of the mind. A simple prescription will get things going with the highest priced antibiotic injections. One minor problem, beyond some babbling with imaginary friends, the girl is unafflicted. How will I convince the parents the drugs are needed? I must review those blood samples. Okay, Dr. Sigmund Fraud. <laughs> That's a damn good name. Yes, dear doc, dear diary. Today I met my new doctor. Mommy and daddy said he's gonna help my bad dreams go away. I can't make them understand these are my friends, not bad dreams. They said Dr. Fraud is a nice man, but I don't like him. He gave me a shot and it hurts so bad and everything turns scary. I hope I don't have to get another shot. I just want to talk with my friends. Daddy gets very mad if I talk about them. He says as long as I talk about my friends, I have to stay here with Dr. Fraud. So I'll write it down here in my diary where no one can see. This is private only for me. Hey, she's rhyming. My friends told me only special people can see them, so they need my help. Some of my friends are so sad. I think they might be hurt, and I have to help them fix something. I'm not sure if I'm doing a good job, but I will try as hard as I can. I love my friends, and I want them to be happy. This is almost too spooky for me. <laughs> Daphne, welcome in. Specializing in child and adolescent psychiatry. I like the name, eh? Sigmund Fraud. Damn, that's a great name. 
Who's... Okay, now we're... I think we're a third character now. I smell a rat. That big shot doctor has dirty written all over him. Can't believe my idiot brother-in-law trusted my niece to that madhouse. Just shows how money can buy custody. And I work for the same system of justice. Go figure. There's nothing wrong with my sister except she married a jerk. Mark my words, fancy doctor or not. One day soon, this steel-tipped gun shoe boot is gonna go up a mile deep under the sun where the sun don't shine? Damn. But first, I have to focus on Rose and find a way to get her out of the asylum. Billionaire found dead. Oh, I love this. This is like doom scrolling, right? Daily dread. That's what the news is, isn't it? Daily dread. Tragedy befell a famous billionaire on his own honeymoon. 87-year-old tycoon recently married a 24-year-old fashion model. <laughs> GG. Way to go, a billionaire. Gotta love that. That's great, eh? <laughs> no, seriously, though. Doesn't Billionaires. They can have, like, 20 wives, 100 babies. Doesn't matter. It's fine. Money will buy you everything. It's just awful, said the newly widowed a glamour diva. What am I supposed to do now? When all the money in the world can't bring him back. No one understood the love we had. Discovered? Yeah, it sounds like you might have been accidentally unalived, you know? <laughs> this should be illegal. You don't think that age gap is appropriate? What do you mean? Love. It's all about the love. No further comment was available as she pulled away in her new limited edition sports car. <laughs> this is, I love this already. Yes, exactly. Accidentally on purpose. Okay, here we are. Chapter one. It's a big bed, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. Let's see, we got a banana there. So the hint system, it looks like we have to collect them and then we can use them. Fun, fun. This is my room. <laughs> Daphne, you have a lovely room. I think if you had a room, this would be a cool place to hang out with all the knickknacks and such. Yeah, you're about to have Fred over. Nice. Probably the person that pulled away in the sports car. Oh, okay. This is the young diva that married the 87-year-old and accidentally unalived him. I guess that's not a, a monk figure. Okay. I don't know what a Thai mask would be. Hmm. Interesting. Do we like to sleep under souvenirs? <laughs> Absolutely. What the heck is a tie mask? I'm gonna have to hint this. I don't even know what this is. I tackled a demon for the Buddha. Oh, okay. That that actually does make sense. Level complete. And just when I thought the doctor was dirty, our local billionaire goes and gets himself dead. Now the filth is spreading. While his young wife of one day consoles herself with furs and pearls, my suspicion grows. Nothing to prove yet, if only there were a clue. But this matter will have to wait. Right now, I can still use my clearance to see Rose as long as my sister is banned from the insanitarium. So we're definitely like 
a copier, right? Whoa! From the desk of Dr. Sigmund Fraud. Strange, the blood samples were clear of germs. Why didn't it work? Now the parents will doubt the symptoms are physical in nature. Perhaps this is a blessing in disguise. This calls for my specialty. It is time to work my true magic. I shall convince these parents their child is schizophrenic and treat them with the most expensive antipsychotic injections. When parents lose faith, perform radical surgery, lobotomize patient, like the others before. Persistent vegetative state following lobotomy is the icing on the cake. With father's ample financial means, the ongoing life support system will provide years of bills and payments. Indeed, she is the perfect patient. Yes, 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 yes. Welcome back. Welcome back, Jules. Good to see you. Dalton's in the house. Welcome. Uh, let's see what we have here. Dear Diary, I made a new friend today. He is a nice old man who uses grapes to make... He said he, sa he was sad because... What the hell is this supposed to mean? Look for the clues in the rectangles below. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Color me intrigued. So we just gotta find these, do we? This is actually kind of cool. Hmm. We've seen similar puzzles where they're like round circles. This is kind of cool. E4? What is that supposed to mean? Please hear him out. These are normal business practices for the times. I guess. I guess Dr. Fraud needs a new boat? Is that what he's... Going about his business. Dun dun. Okay, a couple more to go. Where is this one? Gotcha. I don't know if there's any roses here. What if he needs heart surgery? So it's okay to, you know, perform fraudulent medical practices. He's sick too. Hmm. When I played the demo, I think this is where I got stuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Well, it's been a hot minute since then, hasn't it? <laughs> this was a little tricky. We got three more to go. Mm -hmm. No, no, let's see. This is too sus. 
Rose in the beaker? Oh. Thank you. There are roses. Very nice. Good eye, chat. Thank you. Okay, we got two more to go. I'm just going to hit the last one. Very nice. Very nice. What the hell is that? Dragon dropped these refrigerator magnets on the spaces above to unscramble the anagram. Oh my goodness, chat. Hugs just because. Sounds nice. Is this an old one? This came out in 2009. I think this might be the oldest hidden object game I've ever played. I assume yellow means yellow. Uh, pinkle means pinkle. I'm not sure what to do with the orange. There's two oranges, so. Oh, okay, so if it's correct, it will stay there. Nice, that's good. So that means that goes there. All right, chat, what do we got here? Um, let's see. No. Vines? Hmm. Not sure what this would... What's the right letter to go here? Ice? No. Hmm. Cyanide vines? Really? How did you do that? I mean, I was... I knew... Well, I didn't know. Now I see it, now that you say it. <laughs> Look at that. Cyanide vines. Thank you. I was gonna get there soon. Something was very wrong with Rose during my visit. It was shocking. That doctor is a fake, but still Rose is. Seems like she was stuck in a dream. Kept saying the same thing over and over again. Encased in ivy, encased in ivy. I figured it for an anagram, perhaps cyanide vines. Vines, grapes, wine, coincidence? Maybe this billionaire and the tramp thing is getting to me. Still, I better check it out. Tonight I'll slip into their wine cellar and poke around for something, anything. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at this, we got night vision now. JJ, welcome in, how are you doing? Cam, good to see you. Yes, this is very old schooly, like the MCF series. This is Red Rum Dread Diary. So we're looking for roses so we can add up our little hint counter. And it uh, looks like we've got a bunch of silhouettes here. This is cool. Welcome in, Alana. Good to see you. So basically what we know is there's a Dr. Sigmund Fraud, a psychiatrist, who has a new young patient. And the young patient's daddy is rich, so the doctor's, you know taking advantage of that and then there's like an uncle i think that's like a detective who's suspicious of the doctor and somebody has spilled a bunch of jam oh maybe that's wine actually a bunch of wine on the floor yay what else we got here It's maybe, uh, yeah, I thought there might be a few sneaky ones up at the top. I don't even know what to describe that sound in the background. It's just sounds unnerving. The evil counterpart to Dr. Fraud. I mean, yes, Dr. Freud and Dr. Fraud. You got it. It's like if you were going to get some help and the doctor's name was Dr. Fro no, Dr. Fraud... I don't know, I feel like I might just back out of that situation. Spilled wine is so much sadder than jam. <laughs> There's actually quite a few that are spilled here, too. Mm hmm. Asian statues on the kegs. Okay, we just got a couple more to go. 
don't know what these two are, but